Hello viewers, welcome to today's episode of Women's View. My name is Anne Moremi and I'm your host. Thank you so much for joining us and for interacting with us. We just want to remind you that you can be able to get, get involved even as we talk today. We have an SMS line, the number is 21144 and we are also live on Facebook. The handle is GBS Kenya. Welcome and uh, enjoy the show. In studio today, I have got two ladies and uh, I'd like to give them this opportunity to introduce themselves, starting with the lady to my far right. Welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Welcome. Yeah, my name is Florence Mwange, director and founder of Destiny Children's Home, located in Nazra Gardens in Coma Rocks. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I also have a young lady in studio. Welcome. Introduce yourself. Thank you. I'm Grace Mtian. I came from Destiny Children's Home. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Welcome to the show. So today's uh, topic is Home for the Homeless. I'm very privileged to be with the founder and director of Destiny's Children's Home. And um, I just want her to share with us briefly how it is that she found herself starting a children's home. So I'm going to ask you a question about that. Did you ever work in a children's home before you started your own? Yes. Okay. I used to volunteer in children's home before I started my own. Ah, okay. Yes. So you got a little bit exposed as to what happens in a children's home. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, which are some of the children's homes that you've volunteered? Are they still in existence? Some of them are still there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what is it that drew you to such a kind of a job? Because... You're a teacher by profession, mm -hmm. so already you were interacting with children in schools a lot. And I would imagine that after you are done with the work in school, you wanted nothing to do with children. Or you wanted a, a bit of a break. Uh, I think it's because I, I had in mind that the children I was dealing with in school mm -hmm. had families and had parents. Yes. So most of their needs were met. That's right. They had somewhere to go back to. Yes. They had uh, people who loved them. Yes. As in parents, they had siblings. Uh, and I realized that there are some of those children that are lonely because they have nowhere to, no, nobody to rely upon or nobody to take care of them. They don't have that attachment of a home. Yes. Regular people who they are, the security that comes from being in a family setup. Yes. That they, they lacked that. They lacked that mm -hmm. because some of them, uh, like the ones that mostly in the children's home are abandoned. That's true. Yeah, so they don't have, they really need somebody to take care of them and take care of them like they are their own. They are their own, exactly. Yes. All right. Um, and Grace, we come to you. Tell us a little bit about your early childhood, how you, where you were born, where you grew up, in a, in a small way. Oh, I was born at Masailan mm -hmm. in Kajado. Yes. So, I was born Nika, nika chukulua na shoshi yangu, mama yangu waka pass, mm. nika baki alone, nika enda kukasa sana shoshi yangu, saa fenye nimeka na grandmother, haka nilea mpaka mali nimefika, last year ali pass, actually nika kasa sana auntie wangu. Ah, ok. Mm. So, your grandmother alikuwa na watoto wengi, mm. na moja wao, moja wao ni your, your, your mama mbae ali pass when she was yes. giving birth. Okay, so when you're with your grandma, mulikuwa just wewe na ye ama kulikuwa na watu ingine kwa familia? Mitu na ye ye. Ah, na mulika maisha mazuri. Yeah. Uliishi na ye hadi mwaka upi? 2018. Ambayo ni last year? Yes. Ah, na ma, nini una, unakumbuka ambayo ukikumbuka inakupatia furaha wakati ulikuwa unalelewa na nyanya yako? Pele nilianza kuimba. Ah. Ni endi walikuwa mimi support na kwa wimbe ya kwanza hiyo ya kiswahili. Mm -hmm. Ni endi alimi support, haka nipea pesa, nikaenda kurekod. Wow. So nikimbanga hiyo wimbo ina nikumbusha mbali sana. Na ulikuwa na muimbia pia? Eh. Yee, ye, ye, alikuwa muimba aji? Hapana. Nilikuwa na imu, nikitoa na muambia kama nikumzuri ama inimbaya. <laughs> <laughs> 
lakini at least aliweza kujua kwamba kuna hicho kipawa yeah. na aka, akaweza kukusupport kuku ili ili wimbo wa kwanza. Unajua umesema wimbo wa kwanza. Kwani uko na wimbo nyimbo ngapi? Nimerekod tano. Wow, umerekod nyimbo tano? Yes. Na wewe si bado ni ni mchanga. Um, umefika wapi katika masomo? Nimeshafika. Sasa ndo na join form 1. Ah, so uli uli record hizi nyimbo ukiwa primary. Primary. Na ya kwanza ya kwanza uli record kwa kidato cha na it's class 6, class 6. Yes. Wow. Aki I celebrate your grandmother kwa sababu aliweza kukusupport mm. na pia aliweza ku identify hiyo talent. Na, na, na nimefurahi sana kwa sababu ukikumbuka ukiimba uki huo wimbo unamkumbuka. Mm. Oh, that's good. Na mm. So uh, back to you uh, Florence. Uh, what is it that tell us about the 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 journey between your stopping to work and starting a children's home. Was that a, a an easy process registering getting the name? How did you decide on the name? Does the name have a special meaning to you? Just give us a bit of background. Yeah, uh, it was not it was not very hard mm -hmm. because uh, in as much as I was I was enjoying the teaching I was not feeling fulfilled. Yes. There's something that was not, I didn't get contented in that. There was something missing. There was something missing. There yes. was a link that was missing. Yes. So for me, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. And because I had uh, worked in children's homes, the only difficult thing was because I thought I didn't have money to start the children's home. Yes, because of course you think it takes a lot of money. Yes. And uh, does it? No. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. You, you just need to be the vessel. Okay. Yeah, and God will do the rest. Yeah. Because yeah. these are his children and he takes care of them. Okay. You just need to be there, you need to be a vessel uh -huh. and God will direct you. And you know it's interesting you say that because I've just remember that in the Bible there's a verse that says that God is a God to the fatherless. Mm -hmm. So, of course the role of a father is to provide. Yeah. So it's true what you're saying that he actually provides for his children who yes. are the fatherless. Yes. And you've seen that practically in your I life. I have seen it practically. If there is a verse that is so strong in my heart. Yes. It's where God says I am the father to the fatherless. Yes. Because I've seen him being a father in provision in even enabling these children heal emotionally. Yes. Enabling them have a purpose in life. Yes. And they have hope. That's true. Yes. And you see, those things can only come from God. Anyway, so tell us about the name Destiny's Children's Home. What does it mean to you? Why did you choose that name? Uh, actually, I'm not the one who chose that name. <laughs> the funny thing. <laughs> okay. I remember I was, uh, I shared the vision with my husband. Mm -hmm. And I, I had so many names. Yes. And none of them were connecting. Okay. I should use that word. And one time he just woke up, wrote something on the paper and went back to sleep. Yes. Then in the morning he handed me the paper mm -hmm. and uh, told me to look at the name. Mm -hmm. And the minute I read that name, yes. the flow came. Yes. Yes. You just knew in your heart that this is the name. Yes. Yes. And of course destiny means uh, just has a lot to do with purpose. Yes. A lot to do with the future. Yes. And uh, you see sometimes you can find yourself in a place ambapo mm -hmm. but you shouldn't be discouraged because God has better plans for your future. Yes. So Grace, tuambie, kuna maisha yako kuna wakati ilifika mahali ukaanza kuona kwamba haiendi vile unataka iende ama ukapata changamoto of challenges. Yes. Ilipata and fenye fenye sasa shesha yangu alipass mm. sasa ma challenges ikakuwa mengi. Yes. Sasa ni ile unaenda na kaa peke yangu sasa ile hali ya kwenda kukaa peke yako unasikia uko comfortable unaanza una, una sasa kufikiria mambo zingine mbaya mbaya yes. sasa ni ile nilikuwa neighbor na pasta mm -hmm. nikaenda namwambia ama niende kwa bibi yake namwambia ni niko ni, ni na challenge hii ama siku hizi nasemwa hivi na hivi siko comfortable na ina akaanza kuniongelesha mm -hmm. nikasikia sasa niko free kwa yeah. tangu hiyo siku siku jiogopa tena nilianza kutoka na nikafanya kinyi nilikuwa supposed to do exactly yes. at least Mungu alikubariki akakupa pasta na fa familia yake yes. ambaye walikuwa wa, watu ambao wakaweza waka kukusikiza mm. kwa sababu unajua kupoteza your mom alafu na kupoteza your grandma ambaye mmekuwa na yeye that was a very difficult thing kwenda yes. to come into your life 
na walikusaidia ili uweze kuwa na hiyo process ya healing. Mm. Oh that's good. And alafu sasa um, Florence back to you. Mm -hmm. How did you how do you you know when when you talk about a children's home how do you do you go looking for children are they brought to you do you rescue them what is the procedure that no you don't actually you don't go looking for them mm -hmm. because you work with the police okay and the children's office yes. in the area where you are like me i work with the children's office in embakasi sub county okay and you have to that is the the, the refer the people who refer the children to us because actually when children are abandoned or when they find themselves in situations where they need a home mm -hmm. mostly they'll go to the local authorities the local authorities yeah or they'll be taken there yes some of them are abandoned mm -hmm. and found yeah and taken to police stations yes uh, so probably the police stations have got your contacts yes they do and other people in societies like pastors generally yeah. Uh, people who find themselves in contact with such people yes. know you. Yes. There's a connection. There's a connection. Oh, yes, okay. but uh, the the police and the children's office. Yes. Those are the, the, the people who now give you the documents that you're supposed to have okay. at the level where you have rescued that child. Ah, okay. Yes. So, for example, when uh, Grace came to you, there's a, a legal process of her coming into you. Yes, children. it had to be reported to the children's officer in Kajiado. Ah, okay, yes. Okay. Yeah. It's good to know about those logistics because a lot of times people actually don't know that behind a, a child who is abandoned or a child who is an orphan, there's a lot of legal procedures to still be followed. Yeah. You can't just get them into your house like no, that. No. You have to have the legal documents. Uh -huh. The authorities have to know yes. because this is not your child. It's not your child. It's not your have, child. They have a biological they family. They have a biological family. Mm. And you need to have the cover yes. of the authorities. Because it can look uh, very, very uh, illegal, actually. No, no, leave alone being illegal. <laughs> we are in this life. Yes. If a child happens to die, where do you take her? Yeah, you have to think about such things. You have to, and, and you, that is why you have to, and there are so many things that you need to do. Mm. Uh, because now this child does not belong to you. Yes. This child belongs to the government. Okay, yeah. So when you're working with these children, you're supposed to work with them using the standards that have been, have been laid by the government. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I'm so glad because when I look at Grace, she's now preparing to go to, to high school. Yes. Um, first of all, I'm class eight. Yes. Now, meet what? Meet what? Grace girls. Grace girls. You know, Grace. No, 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 Grace girls. There's a lot of grace in your life. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I wish that uh, I'm hoping that the next time we come to studio, Mom, I take you support. Na sasa ile ile video audio ambayo your grandmother Alex said you funny. I'm taking one video. Mm -hmm. Ili. Ukija, during the break, tutaweza kucheza your video because for now, atuwezi kucheza just the audio. But I really look forward kusikiza nyimbo zako. Na I hope kwamba ukienda Grace, Grace Girls? Yes. Iko wapi? Kajado. Oh, iko Kajado. Ukienda huko, utaweza kuendelea na pia music. Uh. Yeah. So, nafurai sana kwa sababu ulipokuja Destiny, ulipokuja Destiny's Children's Home. Maisha yako ilibadilika? Kabisa. Ebu tueleze, I... tueleze yo, yo, yo journey. Niliona penye nilikuwa basi huko uh -huh. kulikuwa na pitizo ma challenges yeah. as now penye nimekuja huko naona life ime change kabisa hata uso yako inakaa iko na furaha kabisa Roger ni prembo sana uko na dimples and mm. she just looks very yeah. she's a very beautiful girl mm. and she's been able to overcome zile challenges zimekuwa kwa so yes. endelea kutuambia eh hey, ulikuja destiny nilikuja huko penye nilikuja huko sasa maisha kabadilika kabisa nikakuwa yani ile saa penye na feel huko na na feel tu niko home kwetu sasa kabisa si feel kurudi huko na feel nikae tu hapo hivyo mali sasa niko mhm as in enjoy huko unasikia kama ni home kabisa nini inakufanya usikie kama ni home for example penye mama wanatuongelesha unajua uh -huh. huko tu kwa tunapata time ya kuongeleshwa yeah. instead kama church tu ndo tutapata saidi ya kuongeleshwa mm. na place kama kwa, kwa pasta sasa nyumba yake mm. lakini sasa at home si rahisi upate mtu mwenye atakuja kukuambia hizi ni hii tabia ni mbaya ni mzuri hakuna but penye nimekuja huko nikamkana life imechange kabisa mm. na hizi vizuri 
yani umepata mtu wa kukulea mm. unajua ku, wewe ni kama chombo na ama ni kama mbegu mm. lazima u, ukue na ukitaka kupanda mbegu lazima upalilie lazima up, umwagilie maji lazima weeds wakikuja uwaondoe mm. sasa unajua hiyo ndiyo kazi mama anafanya katika maisha yako mm. na hiyo ni kazi ambayo inafanywa on a daily basis sio kitu inaweza kufanya tu maybe once a month or once a year it's ukiwa ukiwa a uh, young girl you need that guidance on a daily basis sasa hiyo ndiyo unasema umepata ukiwa huko mhm aha ulipoenda huko ulipata watu wengine katika destiny children's home destiny mm-hmm. Yes nimewapata wenzangu wengine huko. Mhm. Wa, wa, wa tuko wengi saizi at least sahi wamasai tuko watano. <laughs> Umeweza ku, ku hata umepata wamasai wa wenzako? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Mko watoto wangapi huko? Wote sasa tuko 31. Unawajua wote majina yao? Eh. Au so wote sahau? So like kisura hata nikimsahau jina sura sizi. <laughs> sura wewe sahau. Yaani eh. ni familia kabisa. Eh. Na sasa hebu niambie maisha <coughs> kwa wakati huu wewe umekuwa hauja umekuwa nyumbani kwa sababu unafungua shule on Monday. So maisha ya katika your destiny's uh, children's home iko aje mnamka saa ngapi mnafanya nini mnakula nini. Niambie tu ili niweze kuwa na hiyo picture ya how the home is and vile umefurahi. Hiyo furaha inatokana na wapi? Furaha inatokana na as in tuki, kama ni, ni saa ya kulala uh-huh. unaenda kulala sisi unataka. Uh-huh tuna tunaelela kitu saa tatu hivi mm-hmm. tunaamka saa moja tunamkia kufanya kazi mm-hmm. kazi kidogo kidogo tu hakuna kazi huko yani ile ya responsible hata kama hata mimi kwangu kwa sababu niko na watoto kuna kazi huwa wanafanya wakiamka mm-hmm. labda wanatengeneza kitanda wanapanguza pale walikuwa vitu kama hizo eh yeah. ah okay na tunakula pia vizuri mnakula pamoja tunakula vizuri sana eh yeah. yeah. ndio uko ndafi hivi <laughs> nimefurahi sana kukuona kwa sababu actually uso wako uko na furaha na kwangu that is a very good sign already of the of the good work ambayo mama anafanya mm-hmm. na wewe mam unajua pia wewe kuna ile siku ya kwanza ulikutana na grace mm-hmm. umeona any difference between the, that time and now ambapo unakuwa unajitayarisha kupeleka from one what is the difference that has ume observe katika maisha yake Uh, there's a very very great difference. Yeah. Uh, number one, she was she was a fearful she she had a lot of fear. Yeah. She had a lot of fear. She was still in the uh, with the pain of losing her grandmother. Yeah. And we we engaged a counselor mm-hmm. to work with her. Yes. Because now I cannot be the mother and be the counselor. The There's a part I will do mm-hmm. which a mother will do in the house. Yes. But kuna kuna wale kuna wale sasa wa huwa anamuongelesha nao professionally. Exactly. Ndio sasa aweze kutembea and hata vile anaongea hata vile t- the, the communication between me and her mm. has completely changed yes. because we are more friends. Yes. We are I, I, I love uh making these children my friends yes. so that they can confide in me yes. they can tell me their fears mm. they, i don't want to enter in the house and they scatter because You've the come. director has come i know no mm-hmm. actually that name is no hata hawaijui exactly hawaijui kutoka wakati ile kuja hapa actually anakuita mama eh hakuna mtu anajua hata sijawahi itwa hivyo kwa home <laughs> because i want to be their friend i want to be the mother figure that they don't have yes. i want to at least give these children hope yes and my joy is when all of them smile yes. of course there are uh, there are times we need uh dis- to discipline of course it's yeah because life. it's just like the children we have in our own houses yes yes but uh, all i can say is that the children who are talented yeah. i don't think i can even compose a song i know me too i'm not composing yeah. she's done five and she has done five and she actually started when she was in uh, classics class five, class classics yeah, yeah so you can imagine the talent is actually there yes inangoja tu kutoka inangoja tu kutoka imesha imesha and i enjoy listening to her sing yeah. actually i enjoy listening to her sing and when now they join the we call them the ma community the ma community <laughs> yes. ah when, yeah, because you've got different tribes yes. yes so when they join and sing yeah. that music comes out and you feel a lot of peace a lot of joy yeah a lot of joy yeah, yeah. so uh, i know the answer to this question but any challenges in doing this work that sometimes would cause you to want to get out of it 
<laughs> very many. <laughs> very many. <laughs> And how come you're still in it? Very many. Because I think I... How did I get myself into it? In the I first think, place. In the first, first place. I think you found yourself in it. I found myself in it. Yes. And then sometimes I look at, if I were to close, mm, where will these happen. children go? Yeah. I think I have a responsibility, a divine responsibility yes. to guide these children, mm. to give them a life. Yes. And to make sure that these children will get to somewhere they'll be able to stand on their own. Exactly. That they will not be... They will not suffer because they had no, nobody to bring... To, to bring them, them up, up. Yeah. yeah. So to the level where they can now be independent. Exactly. Yeah. So any child who comes into destiny, I think I have a responsibility. Yes. And I take that's why I am ready to take any challenges that, that come. Exactly. Yeah. So we have a lot of challenges sometimes. Um okay, not really food, not really. How how do you get food? Because you see, one of the things you said is that God has provided a way and pro like provision. I'm sure you have you ever Slept without food. Umelala wako hapa bila kukula. Hata ulipokuwa gengea kuhusu chakula, she was very positive. She yeah, hati wanakula mzuri. Wanakula mzuri. Paka karibu ni mwambia ni invite. Invite me for dinner. One of these fine days ni kuji. So, how do you make, where, where, how do you, where do you get your food from? Your clothing? Okay, we depend on well-wishers mostly. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> like in December, we we receive a lot of clothes. Yes. Because People feel philanthropic. Yes, <laughs> and even food. Yeah. And for the nine, going to nine years that I've been with these children, mm -hmm. they have never slept hungry. Imagine. They have never slept hungry. And you know so when I tell you, I know God is the father to the fatherless. Yes. And it's, I cannot tell you it's me. I didn't have any money in the bank. Yes. I don't have money in the bank that I can go withdraw and buy them food. And that's a lot of food. I mean, It's a lot of food, yeah. yes. yes. And now you see, I have different, I have teenagers, and you know a teenager will not eat like, like a little, I know, like a little boys. child. I you have, I like have children who are taking um, formula. None. Yeah. Oh my. But mm -hmm. God will always provide. Yeah. God mm -hmm. will, and I want to thank Kenyans because they are really when they, they especially when you reach out, mm -hmm. they are very good in helping. Oh, in awesome. fact, this is this work is more of a community work mm -hmm. because I can't do it alone. Actually, you so I have to involve a lot of people, and mm -hmm. we really appreciate the people who come and join us, yes. and they, they 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 will bring food. They will bring. Um, the help that we need, some of them will pay school fees. Yeah, because you know, food is just the most basic thing. Yes. And to be very honest, I wanted to say that uh, some of them have actually gone for long periods of time without food. Yes. But that has never happened when they are at destiny. No. It has That's never a, happened. That is a very and I, I believe, I believe with all my heart, it will yeah, never it happen. It will never happen. Yeah. It will never happen. Indeed. And we try our best to give them. You hear she's saying. They eat good food. Yeah, so yeah. I know. I, 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 I really, that. I really try. But as you know, Najua, chakula ni vile kinapikwa. Exactly. So nasi kia kuna wakati kulikuwa na kitulikuwa tunaita mashakura. Eh, Grace, uko kuna kuwa na mashakura mani chakula. Chakula. <laughs> and then like, na, like now, wow. these ones, yes. I involve them. In the process. In the process. You actually, it's a skill that you yes, teach them. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That they will, they, will, they will know how to cook. Exactly. I don't In want to wait food. until... They get married and yes. then they are told go back and yes. be taught because even me, my mother started teaching me to cook, how to cook. Yeah. When I was very young, I was I, I remember I was I, when she was cooking chapati, I was given a a, a bottle. Okay. Yeah, because the loading st uh, stick was, was one. one. <laughs> and I could dry this thing until it becomes black. <laughs> and she did not give up. She would after she finishes, she would still help me put it on the pan. Yes. Put this kind of uh, oil. oil. And uh, I, I, I would want to train these children. Yeah, the to, same way you are. Yeah, they, mm. they, they clean their own clothes. Yes. Yeah, because they need to be responsible. And that is a skill that yes. they need to. Yeah. Because we want to bring up, uh, even every mother wants to raise children who are responsible. Yes. Who are able to take care of themselves. Yes. You can cook for yourself. You can wash. At least you're independent enough to raise yourself. To raise yourself. Not that when you're left in a situation by yourself, you're stranded. You're, str you're stranded. And I'm happy to hear that they actually do chores. They do yeah. housework. Because yes. uh, by the time you're actually uh, a certain age, there's always work you can do in the home. Yeah. That is... Um, in line with the age that you are. Yes. So it's good to teach children to it's be good responsible. To teach, yes, because sometimes you see a child, because I'm a teacher, now I have that experience. Yes. A seven-year-old uh, child mm. cannot even be able to wipe their nose. I know. Leave alone. Now don't even go to toileting. 
wipe their nose. Wipe their nose. Oh, that is so basic. And when sometimes <laughs> I say you have to start it early, mm. when that child is very young and he, she can, he or she can start touching something, yes. drop something in the water. Mm -hmm. Let them just play Please. around with it. Get yeah. the feel. Yes, get the feel. Mm -hmm. When now the age uh, progresses, yes. change. Give that child something like a towel or a small, a tiny socks, yes. or a handkerchief. Yeah. Now, just try to teach them how to, how to clean very slowly and they get interested. They would want to do more. They would, when you're, you're putting oil on their body, they will scoop the oil and they and will put it everywhere. Yes, put it everywhere. Because Don't they want scold to do. them. Yes. yes. Don't scold them. I usually say, just allow her allow. or him. You put yeah. a little. Yeah. And then, you know, they just do like this. Don't they, feel like you're wasting. I've done something. <laughs> Don't yes. just do everything for them. Yeah. As much as they are that age. Yes. And you have to go uh, ad doing what that age allows. Exactly. Of course, we rescue children who are very young and have done a lot of work. Mm. Actually, you look at that child and you wonder how they coped. I know. So the first thing that we do when they come is we let them be, be children. Yeah, you let them be children. We let them be children. Mm. You hear Grace uh, says, sometimes we don't even wake them up. I know. I'm happy to hear that they don't. Actually, I mean, yeah, when I'm but Samoja, when it is school is, time, they then there is, a, there is a time we mm -hmm. don't allow anybody to be in bed. Exactly. There has to be rules. There are rules. There I don't are expect to find Grace sleeping at 10 a.m. Uh, I mean at 10, yeah. unless she's not feeling well. Exactly. And I have to know so that I can take the, I you can take, take her to, to the hospital, doctor. Yeah. yeah. So... There are things that you, we train them and they know their rules. They yes. don't just do what they want, mm. but for their own benefit. Yes. Because if they just grow like that, then I don't know what kind of a society we are bringing. Yeah, it was, it's going to be one that is, it's, I mean, it's not a responsible society. Exactly. Yeah, and they yeah. won't be independent. You'll find that they'll stay with you for so long, yet you want them to go, yes. get employed or start their own businesses, mm -hmm. and in turn start maybe even supporting others through your home. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And Grace, I want to come back to you and I uh, to you know, sometimes you wonder what it is that you're rescuing children from, but... Uh, I mean, you're from the Maasai community. Now, one of the things to is that Ukika in that community sometimes you might be exposed to certain things that would be harmful to you. And some of these things, you've actually seen them happening in your society. Labda, uh, unaona kwamba kuna vitu ambazo umekuwa saved from kwa sababu ya kupele kwa Destiny's Children home. Mm. Uh, based on not your life, but on the lives of wale umeona around you. What can you say about it? Nilikuwa na rafiki moja masai mm. sa alikuwa rafiki yangu wa karibu sana sa alikuwa nyuma yangu juu yeye alikuwa class 7 na mimi nilikuwa 8 sa oh, okay. ni ile alikuwa alipata ball mm. sasa akape babake ni mbaya sasa alisema mtoto wake aki drop shuleni anampeana yeah. sasa ni alikuwa kupeana unamaanisha nini azini kupeleka kupele kwa sasa kwa mzee Mhm. Mm Ili afanye kazi huko? Eh, akuwe sasa na bwana wake. Akuwe bwana? Eh. Mtu ambaye yuko class 7. Eh. Ataweza kukua bibi? Eh. <laughs> Atafaulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, na hii ni kitu una, umeona ikitendeka? Iki eh. Oh my. Eh. Sasa babake alipokuwa hiyo hali tu alisikuwa ni mmjua sana sijamjua si haraka ako na ball mm -hmm. alinyamaza na kuniambia na hata unajua hiyo kitu wewe kuko aingeza kuongeza kufikiri yuko na ball yeah. kwa sababu si wewe uko class 8 na yuko class 7 yeah. unaweza kufikiri yuko na ball hapana mm. sa alijua aje nilikuja sasa kujua alikuwa one week ajifungue sasa eh, alika 9 months na bado ali, aliweza kuficha vizuri ni eh, sasa siku ya hiyo eh, sasa one week imebaki ndo ajifungue ndo nikakuja kuona mm. na siku muuliza mbona hukuniambia kuna ball sasa hiyo siku ilikuwa sande akapelekwa hosi akaenda kujifungua hapo Kajado akarudishwa nyumbani after one day sasa babake alimpeana aku aku nini aku mpata aku taka kumrudisha tena shule akasome mm. alisema bata ampeane kwa mzee sasa oh. alipeana saizi yako kwa mzee sasa msichana mwingine wa pili wake wa huyo mzee tu tena aka drop na aku form 3 al this young family yes mm -hmm. this young afa kuwa na malisia form 4 mm -hmm. sasa ame hata na yeye drop shuleni ameshajifungua kwa nyumbani sasa sijui kama atapenwa 
juu hata huyo mdogo amesema mimi ni mdogo na huyo mwenye medrop tena form 3 mm, ni mkubwa wake mm, sasa akasema akipenu akipelekwa shule pia tie yako na right ya kujipeleka shule akwenda kujintroduce kwa hata yeye anataka kwenda shule hata kama ataenda kuanza life class 6 amesema is still better kuliko kukaa kwa mtu mwenye huku na mtajia akupenda kwake na unajua kitu kama hiyo si ni kitu ambayo inafanya inaweza fanya hata mtu aogope mm -hmm. na ni vizuri kwamba uko destiny children so, kwa sababu katika hii environment ya destiny vitu kama hizo haziwezi kutendekea you know what i mean mm -hmm. because of what you are talking about you know you also have responsibilities yeah. i mean si, 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 kitu kama hiyo haiwezi tendeka mam haizi kupatia kupeana let me use your yeah. your, your, your. <laughs> that one has kupeana so there are certain advantages actually when when children come off from just nowhere and come into a setup that is that is a home they are protected from certain things yes. and i'm sure that you have seen many stories like what she's talked about yes and uh, therefore i think a place like destiny's children's home is actually also a place of rescue yeah yeah because a lot is happening out there as you have heard and you're able to provide a place for 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 both boys and girls yeah. to be able to be to be out of harm's way. Yes. So I'd like to commend you for the good work that you're doing. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you. I'm happy that despite the challenges, <laughs> umesema kwamba hata hauna hiyo fikra ya kuacha. Kwa sababu sasa ulianza uko na watoto 37, ulianza na wangapi? Did you start with one? Yes. And from one now they are 37. Yes. You're this lady who keeps giving birth, giving birth. Are you talking? Kwa kuna family planning. Siji ni kupatia kapil. And do you have a capacity? Do you have like a maximum that you cannot go beyond or like how no, does I it can't, work? I can't go beyond what I have mm -hmm. because You're unless at full yeah, capacity. yeah I'm, I'm at full capacity. Mm -hmm. So now yes. the the major thing now is to expand so that maybe we are able to get to help more. Yeah. Yeah. And I also wanted us to discuss a little bit about you know Grace is uh, also uh, coming from a very a very uh, a sad background because she's an orphan at a young as a child. There's also the other set that actually are abandoned and do not have any family that they know mm -hmm. of. How do you how do you, you help those ones cope? Because th do they don't they have so many questions in their minds about their origin, their family? How do you help them with that? Uh, the most import important thing is to tell these children the truth. Mm -hmm. And I think I answer the question the way it comes and the time it comes. Oh yeah, because it actually comes differently at different stages. Exactly. You don't, you know, the, it's, it's child led. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, the fact that they are in a children's home, yeah. they know, they have, they have an idea. They feel there's something. Yeah. I mean, because they come to my place, they don't get so many children in the house. Yes. And, uh, there is no child. Oh, they come home. to your home now. You, your home, home, home. Yes, they do. Oh, not the children's home. To visit children. you. Yeah, they come to visit. And they can see this. But I could just go. I could just go. I could just go. I could just go. So, when you go, exactly. I love they start getting these questions. Yes, I love when they go and in school they also get to learn a lot. Yes, of course, the conversations. When, like when they they go to school, mm -hmm. there is a topic that they na zanga. Uh -huh. the family members yes mm -hmm. so atakuja niulize na mimi kwani flani uh -huh. wetu wako wapi baba yangu wako wapi uh -huh. mama yangu wako wapi because that child has an idea that the mother stays with the children yes so they will ask those questions mm -hmm. and how do you respond for example in the case of abandoned children how do you start if somebody if a child asks you where is my father where is my mother i think it's very easy when it comes from the child yeah because but i think you, god puts what, something how was in is my your spirit. answer <laughs> <laughs> right now right now i think i can try I to like, prepare myself yeah. and wha, how would i because there is a child who will ask you where is my mother mm. the other one will withdraw yeah. start behaving funnily mm. start crying yes so you cannot handle these two, two the children same way. yeah the same way mm. so it depends yeah it depends it, on how it's expressed on, yes 
Wow. And then there are, there are those children who have been abused in their families. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there is no way you can run away from it because these children are growing. They are growing. Yeah. yeah. So it's better to give the information according to the age yes. at the right time. And I'm happy to hear that you have counselors. Like, for example, Grace, Aliweza Kupeleka through grief counseling because yeah. she's lost her mom, but that one was a child. But so now the person who she actually felt the loss the most was the grandma, was the grandma. who was very close to her. Yeah. So I'm happy to, to, to hear that you've taken her through grief counseling mm -hmm. because that is something that people might tend to overlook but it is something that is difficult yeah. and that she must be carried through so and actually in our society leave alone now this setup mm. we ignore children we do and I we think, think so. they do not understand death yes they might not really understand the way we do mm -hmm. but i think grief yeah they feel it they feel it they feel the loss i have heard people say an infant mm -hmm. When the mother passed on, this child was so restless. Mm. The child cried throughout. Yes. That tells you there was something because this, so this, is, this is a connection that is being mm. disconnected. Yes. So it's it's very important for people not to in uh, to ignore children yes. because I have gone to very many uh, matangas. Mm. Have you ever gone to a, a matanga where by children are involved? No. It's they are told. The adults. They are told. They they passed on. They are being buried on. They are in heaven. They are not even consulted even those who are of, of the age of being consulted exactly. like i usually say ask this child mm -hmm. what dress would you want your mother to put on yes and many people will like, be like ah they are just they're just children they actually ignore it's very important to involve them mm -hmm. even when we feel that they don't understand yes there is a, 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 percent, a percentage they understand because of the connection exactly yes they, they're not only involved to they are the gravesite to take photos to and, mm. even the the, 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 the young ones. Yes. Me I'm for the idea. Awekwe mchanga. Arushi. It means a lot. Mm. Yeah, because this is the mother or this is the parent. Exactly. So even in our society, it's a high time that we start now thinking about how to involve our children. Yes. And how to carry them and how to carry them through yes. circumstances. Yes, yeah. because very few people unless a child reacts. Yes. That is when we find counselors. Exactly. But us, we, we have so many people surrounding us. The people child, we can talk to. We have mm. grown up in our families. Yes. They come and talk to us. But the children, they are, and you know that a child will forget for a moment. Yeah. And then when it sinks and it hits, then I, when, that's when it becomes difficult. Exactly. That's why they will ask what happened to my mom. Yeah. And some of them even will be bitter. With why, us did, grown -ups. Yeah. why didn't you when, tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Try to make me understand. You know? Like I handled a case of, uh, I, I think in December. Mm -hmm. This child lost the, the mother and she was the only living parent. Mm. And she was told, actually, aliniambia, aliniambia, mama yako alikufa, tunaenda kumuzika Saturday, tuende garisa, ukanunue nguo za... That girl that talked. Eats. Yes, it's like dropping Bone dropping shield. yes yeah. without actually knowing the person who did it maybe thought it was the right thing to do uh, yeah, no. but mm -hmm. now my mother is going to be uh, to be buried i don't even know what happened i know oh, i know and she was she was in in form two so that is oh no that's an, more yeah. that is a, a big that yeah. one is, can understand so even her healing is more Difficult. It's more difficult. Yeah, yeah, because she has now to deal with the bitterness. Mm. She has bitterness, she has pain, yeah. she's grieving. So she is in a mixed, she has mixed reactions. Exactly. So it needs somebody who will walk with, walk her. with her. That's a journey to yes, be walked with. Yes, a journey with. to be walked with. Mm. And the other thing I, I usually feel, we hurry children. Through the healing process. One year, but I can't deal with you. Abu, I want to kuli. Enda shule. Exactly. Enda shule. I'm talking about one year. I'm talking about one year. Yeah. It is. It is not the right thing to do. It is not. As much as they have to get over it, I I will get over it in a different way. The way you will, and the way a child will. So I I wish even the community will embrace yes. the idea of involving children and working with them. Mm. Where the, you feel they are becoming, uh, find a way of letting them know. Yeah, but not way. just, especially when pain is involved. Exactly. Yeah, because we, we sometimes end up wounding them more. Exactly. Yeah. Or ignoring the pain. And you know what? If it's not dealt with, it will come out in other ways. In other ways. And I'm so happy that because uh, Grace Umesema Kwamba, Unafurahi at least... Here you found a home 
and you found a place where you can be guided. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you, you've been you've been comforted in a way and yani at least ile mzigo ulikuwa nayo imerahisishwa kidogo uko na watu ambao wanakupenda ambao unaweza ongea nao. Unasikia kama hiyo ni kitu umepata hapa destiny home. Yes, nimepata huko. Juu huko basi hakukua na watu wa kukuguide. Mm. Saa hapa sasa penye nilikuja sasa hiyo penye tulianza kuongeleshwa hiyo nini sasa sikuwa na hiyo ofu tena e, yani ile kufikiria tena mambo zingine mbaya hata ulikuwa umesema mm. hivyo kwamba hapo mbeleni ulikuwa na mafikira mengi ambayo yalikuwa mbaya mm. na ina, uwa ina torment mtu kwa sababu una, unaanza kuuliza kwa nini hizi vitu zinanifanyikia mm. na unajua hiyo negative thought process at least sasa ukapata mahali ambapo mnaongeleshwa na unaweza kufungua moyo mm. Mm. Umeweza ku, ku, ku ume, umeweza kupata healing kabisa. Mm. Uh -huh. Wow, that's so positive. In fact, I wanted to ask you, you know, some of this it is possible to heal out of some of these things. It's possible. It's possible. It's to heal okay, completely you, or you, do does okay. this car remain you 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 or learn to cope. how to cope with it uh -huh. and then the pain and the sad memories becomes a joy. Really? Yeah. A joy that you can even be able to talk about that person without crying. Yes. And it's a process, it's a journey. Mm. It doesn't happen and we can't heal the same way all of us. Yes. Uh, I lost my sister mm. and actually after her burial I had to go for counseling for six months. Wow. Mm. So I, I, deal. I don't ignore anybody who is going through grief because yeah. I thought I knew it all. I know, you yourself, you're a teacher, you're a counselor. Exactly. But, but when, it, when it, it, happens, it happened to me, mm -hmm. I think uh, people were looking at me and they were saying she doesn't... I, I, I had a lot of things. Yeah. And that is now what gives me strength to work with the children yeah. and anybody who is in pain mm. in a very different way. Because you understand. You, you in a way... Sometimes I usually walk say, Unaona kabisa hapa, hapa hii, hata kuendangi hivi. Lakini it won't go far. Yeah. Give them a space and put sense in them slowly by slowly yeah. because mm. in pain there's no language you understand yeah. there's no language you understand and what is it that causes healing because you've even talked about children who have been raped have been defiled mm -hmm. and i'm like is is, is 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 it actually possible to actually get through that and be able to move on and yeah you know, by god's grace by god's some grace. of these things it's only god who can heal yeah it's only god who can who can give that joy who yeah. can actually give that you might talk to somebody talk 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 and until mm -hmm. god intervenes it's very difficult he intervenes huh? yeah he yeah. intervenes and then i think uh, like i usually hear that time time he heals yeah is it, it true it, it's true yeah because you you will wake up and life you, goes on life goes on <laughs> it can't stop it can't stop <laughs> Yeah. And then you will you will find that today you have a different challenge today you have a different yeah. feeling and, you, forget and, as, and you, you get involved into so many things yeah. the stage i was in yesterday is not the stage i am in today yes. so it will gradually Life evolves. Heal. Yeah. yeah but above everything else i i really see the grace of god mm. upon the whole process exactly it's not professionalism it's yeah. not it's not because the only thing that can heal mm. is you bring back that person yeah, which now is and because that person is not coming, mm. it's only God who can give the grace yes. to be able to cope yes. with the help now of others, others around, around who come and embrace, embrace you. you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. yes, and and oh. that's why I commend you. Thank you. Because the work that you're doing is that one of coming to embrace. Yeah. Coming to provide a home for the homeless. Mm -hmm. Coming to give somebody like Grace a place where she can feel comforted where she can feel accepted yeah. where she can feel she belongs yeah and you know if there was no destiny's children's home a lot of them would be so 37 of them 37 Probably. of them and let me tell you yeah. that it looks like it's 37 but so many other lives would have been affected because yes. who knows what would have happened to them mm -hmm. we've talked about early marriages yes. we've talked about early pregnancies mm -hmm. we've talked about being defiled yes. by the extended family yes. you've really really come and given them a cover mm -hmm. and uh, i really i really think that what you're doing is awesome and you should continue and more people should come and uh, you know yeah, and, and, support. and support and I'm so happy yeah. to hear that all of them are, are, are feeding yeah. all of them are in school mm -hmm. all of them get medical care yes they are also raised to become responsible adults yeah when necessary they are disciplined mm -hmm. or they are talked to yeah and what I'm wondering is your children 
do they feel jealous like their mom has gone away to be with other children? <laughs> you know, I'm hearing her calling him. <laughs> and what about you? Your, your love, has it been so divided that now sometimes, do you feel a difference between your children, your children and your children because they're all your children? Actually, you, <laughs> when you find her with my daughter, yes. you will think that she's the one who follows her. <laughs> wow, they awesome. have a very good relationship. My children have embraced what I am doing, yes. and they help me a lot. Okay. They help me a lot. It's a family. So thing. it's a family. So yes. I don't feel at any time. Of course, there is uh, when I am with my children is a bit different. Mm. But now uh, the the only thing is that even if I would stay with these ones uh, for a longer time, yeah. they have come to learn. But I'm also very careful mm. that I don't think they have accepted mm -hmm. then a question will come later exactly yeah so yeah. I'm, I'm glad that they are able to let me be with them mm -hmm. and also help exactly yeah, and also help yeah yeah and i'm so happy that you said somebody like grace actually unajua her daughter unajua mali anaishi there's that uh, freedom you know they come to my house yeah. and they are free to eat anything yeah, they are free actually awesome. to feel like i don't want porridge i'll, I'll make a cup of tea yeah, it's just a home. like that. Yeah, it's a home. Yeah, in a home you can do that. You, you can, can you, that. you can have a buffet and you decide what you want and exactly. what you don't want. So I don't tell them you have to eat this, you have to they even decide yeah. in destiny. Yes. It's not a menu at kutoka Monday ni githeri apana. I I want them to decide. Yeah. When they feel they want to eat something extra that is not like meat yes. or fish, yes. you will. I'll they enter can the tell house. you. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll enter the house and you will hear Omena. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, it's been a while. Yeah, it's no, been a while. No, no that's no, a message that has been yeah. communicated. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also very close to the teenage girls. Yes. Being a, a mom, yeah, yeah, being a mom, because you have to walk that journey with them of yes. growing up. And yes. yes, and some, and they teach me a lot. Mm. They teach me a lot. Yeah, because I remember one time I entered, and one of the girls who is now in class eight, she will always tell me, ah, "Mom, you're smelling," and then I would just say thank you, and then it came repeatedly. I realized this is a message. Yeah, she's trying to communicate Ataya, something. Mm -hmm. Ataya, she wants Ataya. to have a nice. So sense. I, I really try that the girls have a collation here, yeah. have a, and a also uh, as a mother, mm. I also try to give boys kuna yule unasikia anataka sabuni nyinyi inanuka vizuri mm. kuna mwingine hajali nipanga soap <laughs> kuna mwingine and they are able to tell me all this exactly. kuna vijana wengine wanataka vaseline plain uh -huh. kuna wengine wanataka ile iko na, na harufu exactly. so i have to identify all this yes. so that i will they will not like the girls mm. or even the boys because as much as the girls may go a different direction in getting these things mm -hmm. the boys can resort into getting them in, in also a different way exactly. so it's my wish mm. that they will grow just like okay, Normally. I have I have one daughter. Yes. So she I can say her she she got like a lotion. Yes. And I think she has also a burden mm -hmm. that she knows they need it. Yeah. Yeah. So she sometimes share with them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So Grace, we are time is almost up and Nataka wambi wale watu ambao wana kuchazama. Kitu kama parting shot. Kitu ambayo unaiza taka wakumbuke about you or about mom or about your situation jinsi mtu kama wewe anaweza saidika by society alafu tutapatia prayer mom chance apatia ni parting shot thank you mm -hmm. kenyetu ninawaambia watu ambao wananitazama ni ku yani wakuwe yani karibu na watu na watoto yani ile kwa kwa advice watoto usiwaachilie watoto wenu hivyo hivyo as in penye hata sisi tuko hapa mm -hmm. penye tu, mali tumekuwa sasa hivi ni kwa sababu tu ya Mungu so we need someone to guide us yes yeah. to protect penye sasa mam penye yako mm. is a good mom yeah. actually tunampenda sana tunasema tu Mungu ambless amen eh. na amembless na ataendelea kumbless <laughs> what about you mom what would be your parting shot because um, this conversation is long. I'm sure you have so many experiences. And exactly. I feel like I have so many questions to <laughs> ask. <laughs> but we need yeah. to wrap up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, like I told you, I have learned a lot. I've yes. gone through a lot also. Yes. Um, what I would like to tell uh, our viewers mm -hmm. is that these children need support. Yes. Not the ones only in destiny. Mm -hmm. The children who are in other children's homes. Because it, I cannot do it alone. 
It takes a village. Yeah, it takes mm. a village. It mm. takes the community. Yes. We need a lot of help. We need people to support them. We need mm -hmm. people to give them food. And we need people to even hold our hands. Yes. Sometimes I also feel I need somewhere. I need a shoulder to, to, to lean on. I know. Yes. It's very overwhelming. Yes, it's Some very of the overwhelming. Mm. And uh, just like Grace says, let's mm -hmm. take care of our children. Yeah. And those who are... Who are around us let's yes. let's let's come as a community and embrace the children that we have maybe yes. if you allow me if you would want to support us yes, can i please. give my number give your number give your face i, th I know that you have your yes. facebook as well yes yes I think yeah people would like to you know yes. to give back yes. yes my number is 0720 we have a facebook page uh destiny children's home uh, and you can come and visit us. You come and see how we live. You come yes. and be with those young ones. Come and wash the clothes. Come and cook chapatis for them. Yes. Yeah. Just the normal a, things that you do at home. Just the normal things you do at come home. Come and hang out. Bring your children so that they can understand there is yes. another ta there's, there's a life that is uh, somewhere. So, some people go through, some children go through different challenges. Mm. So we are in Comarox. Um, we're in Nazra Gardens in Comarox. Uh, the easiest landmark is Mama Lucy Hospital. Okay. But when you call me, when you, you you contact me, you can be picked or I can give you directions. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. I really celebrate you today for the work that you're doing. And I want, I, I'm, I'm privileged because I know you and because of knowing you, I know Grace. And she's somebody that I'm going to know for a long time. And I look forward, to Grace, to seeing how you're going to be 10 years from now. You're very young. Yes. And one of the things I told you in the show is that you should celebrate and enjoy your youth. <laughs> but I look forward to seeing you get done with your high school and even life after that, you know. And uh, not just Grace, but all the other children that are in the home. God bless you so much, and I know that he will provide everything that you need. Viewers, thank you so much for being with us. And uh, yes, we look forward to seeing you next time. And uh, I just want us to also um, have that thought in mind. How can we help her to create a better home for the homeless. She's already got a home, so let's think about ways that we can support the homes around us. Because like she said, it takes a village. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.